Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here today. This meeting is called to order. As the birth to 22 Alliance, our purpose today is to make a presentation for our business community. We need to show them how important they are to giving all children the chance to succeed. The future of our children can't wait. So where should we start? Let's talk about data in Palm Beach County. Business people like numbers. Over 9% of babies are born too early. That could be 32,000 more in medical costs for each baby born early, or $43 million a year. Wow, $32,000 can help pay for college. We should also share disparity data. Did you know that black babies are about three times more likely to die than white babies before reaching their first birthday? On a bright side, let me point out that child deaths dropped by almost 50% because of the work of birth to 22, so we're already making a difference. Do you think the business community is aware of this? That's our job, to educate them. But there's still work to be done. 10% of children are not ready for school when they start kindergarten. This puts a huge financial burden on the school district. Good point. Once they are in school, only 54% are reading on a grade level at third grade. And we know there, there's a direct link between third grade reading and graduation. We should also share the survey data we did on youth, especially the data on bullying. 42% of youth said they were bullied. Aren't race, ethnicity, and the financial status the top reason for the bullying? You're absolutely right. We also found that 43% of youth said that they were feeling depressed. 22% thought about suicide. We need to do something about that. We should also share that research shows that childhood trauma leads to low productivity, higher turnover, and poor employee morale later in life. It leads to high doctor costs. Bottom line, trauma affects individuals and businesses. We are working hard to help. Our partners have already brought in over $2.1 million from a multi-year Wallace grant. This will help kids socially and emotionally during and outside of school. Juvenile crimes went down about 20% over the past three years. That's great. On another positive note, graduation rates have improved over the past year. And the gap between black and white students is also getting better. That's fantastic. We still have work to do for our youth who aren't engaged, though. Almost 2,500 children, 16 to 19, aren't working and aren't in school. Kids out of school and out of work, uh, that's a recipe for disaster. It sure is. Also, let's not forget that 65% of jobs will require a degree after high school in 2025. Only 39% of our 25 to 34-year-old residents have a post-secondary degree. We have a lot of work in front of us. The good news is that at least $6 million have been set aside for community programs because of birth to 22. Next year's focus is access to health and education. That's great because we want our kids to graduate here and stay here and bring in more businesses. This is hard work. None of us can do it by ourselves. And it won't happen overnight. It's a long-term effort. How do we ask the business people for help? We could ask for them to help raise awareness and public concern. Help us in making connections to other related work in the community. We certainly don't want to duplicate efforts. We can explain that more internships would certainly help. They should know we need more mentors. Resources for programs in the areas of science, technology, engineering, arts, and math would be awesome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have a plan. Let's get to work and create our presentation. There's a lot of young people counting on us. Agreed. This meeting is adjourned.